Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Justin, back again, Lil J. I'm back at again with another video featuring Riptide, presenting... Is auto tune worth it or not? Alright, let's get into it. Okay, so we're gonna start with the free auto tune. And this is a sample by Akon called Blame It On Me. And it's probably the best acapella that I could find. So yeah, let's test the auto tune on this. So this is what the original sounds like. Uh, I'm just gonna play it, just a quick sample. I'm sorry for the times that I left you home. I was on the road and you were alone. I'm sorry for the times that I had to go. I'm sorry for the fact that I did not know that you were sitting home just wishing we could go back to when it was just you and me. I'm sorry. Okay, so this may already have like some kind of auto tune on it, but it's not um, the T Pain ish auto tune that everybody thinks auto tune is. So this is more of the effect of auto tune rather than the correction or the filter. Okay, so I'm going to effects and then G snap. If you don't know how to install G snap, there's a whole other video on that somewhere on the internet. So you can find a place to download this. This is probably the best free auto tune that I've come across. But yeah, and we can sample it from here without actually applying the effect. So yeah, let's hear it. I'm sorry for the times that I left you home. I was on the road and you were alone. I'm sorry for the times that I had to go. I'm sorry for the fact that I did not know that you were sitting home just wishing we could go back to when it was just you and me. I'm sorry for the times I would neglect. I'm sorry for. Okay, so in my honest opinion, auto tuning the entire clip as a whole made it a bit too pitchy. In fact, it almost made it worse, but the actual auto-tune, like, snapping effect that most people want, it was able to do that. So I feel like if you auto-tuned parts of it the way you want to, and, like, edited the intensity, so the amount, or maybe even the speed, that should give you what you want, but it's a lot more work, in my opinion. And if you've actually listened to No Money Back, the very beginning I used, um, I think I auto-tuned it, like, five times just changing the amount multiple times using this before I actually bought auto-tune. So yeah. Okay, so a quick disclaimer before we get into the actual um, part of this auto-tune. So there's multiple companies that produce a version of auto-tune. The original one is Interiors. And I, originally I was dead set on buying the Interiors auto-tune live. Um, but I instead I bought um, Waves Tune live, even though... And I wasn't trying to save any money, but it just came with this auto-tune required an eye lock and all this, all these weird gadgets that I just didn't have the time to basically um, learn how to use and everything. So I decided to go with the Waves Tune instead, instead because it was a little more convenient, regardless of the price. So yeah. All right, let's get into this. Okay, so if you're not familiar with auto-tune or Waves Tune, um, I'd say look up a tutorial on that because... All these keys may look a little confusing, but for the most part, um, it's easy to learn. Okay, so I found that this is probably the best scale for his vocals. And I have the auto-tune off right now. Otherwise, I'd be recording in auto-tune, which we'll show later. But yeah. All the times that I left you home I was on the road and you were alone I'm sorry for the times that I had to go I'm sorry for the fact that I did not know That you were sitting home just wishing we Could go back to when it was just you and me I'm sorry for the times I would neglect I'm sorry for the times I disrespect I'm sorry for the wrong things that I've done I'm sorry I'm not always there for my sons I'm sorry for the fact that I'm not Alright, so as you can see, I didn't really tune it completely like the way it should have been, but it sounded a lot better and a lot less pitchy than G Snap. But it still had the, the snappy auto tune effect that a lot of people want. So yeah. Alright, now we can get into the actual live part of auto tuning with which G Snap doesn't actually have. And Auto Tune Live, Auto Tune EFX three, and Waves Tune Live all have this effect. Okay, so the one drawback, and my auto tune's off right now, but the one drawback to using um, Waves Tune is that it's not compatible with all softwares. 
So the thing about G-Snap is you can use it almost... There's a lot of applications, especially free ones, that you can use with G-Snap. But there's not a lot that you can use with um, Waves Tune or even Interior's Auto Tune. Uh, so I did find this software, which is um, FL Studio, that you can use it with. And you can also use it with Adobe Audition, which is this one. Um, I have a more complete version of uh, Adobe Audition because I have the whole pack of Adobe uh, compared to this one. So I, I've used Audition more, actually. And you can also use a variety of, I think, Apple softwares that support Waves Tune and Auto Tune. All right, y'all. So now is the time. Now is the time for the fun part. We got a lot of Auto Tune going, and Justin's never used Auto Tune before. Never. So I don't think he can keep a straight face. I don't think he can keep a straight face when he does this shit. He's already laughing. All right, let's get into this. Oh, wait, what? Oh, testing, testing. I don't try to go to school. I just want to go to the pool. I just want to hoop. People always trying to hate. Please come say to my face. Pull up to the crib. Hit him with a 10, 10, 10. I know Ben 10. You try to break my game, but it'll never ever gonna change my face. Hey. Yeah. All right, so do you think the auto-tune is worth it and everything? Or do you prefer the free version and shit? I think the auto-tune works. So yeah, you should it's totally worth it. Go ch go buy it. Is it. Did it cost money? Yeah, actually, I bought it on sale. It was originally 200 But shit, I feel like... If you really want to sound better and like the live features and everything, then if you want all that, I feel like it's worth it. Even the 200 by itself should be worth it. So yeah. Yeah, you guys should go buy it. It's totally worth it. Um, please subscribe, like this video. Um, we have more videos featuring Riptide coming up. So yeah, that's going to be fun.